Greetings folks, coming to you today from Mare Island. It's a Sunday and there are some art places, art museums, art shops, whatever, open. Here's the back of one, but this really caught our eye. This uh, contraption was built for Burning Man. In 2006 and it looks like a Victorian house and they call it the Hibernian Steam Empire Embassy and this is one crazy looking vehicle And it looks like it kind of just stays here. Oh, look at that open window out there. It's kind of creepy, but it's super interesting. Looks like it's open part way in the back. And there's a ladder that goes up this side. Traveling Academy of Unnatural Science. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, really crazy looking. I sure would like to go inside of that thing, but it's closed. Darn it. But take a look at this one. Right behind it. Wow. An old Toyota. <laughs> it's okay, I'm an artist. <laughs> Steampunk time machine. Yeah. If you like steampunk, these things are for you. I think they're kind of cool myself. Really weird, really different. But that's not why we came out here. We did not come out here to see the art studios. We came out here to do a bike ride, but we're getting distracted. But that's okay. We'll do both. Come along with us. I'm inside the studio and taking a look at some of this art. There are 18 different artists here, I was told. And I was just talking to the only one who's here today, but all sorts of weird things in here. <sighs> this is really unique stuff. Kind of goes with the uh, steampunk art car and the other vehicle outside, doesn't it? Okay. Well, that was interesting. I spent a little more time in there than I had intended. So now, let's get to that bike ride. So this is where we're going to unload the bikes. I think these are old coal sheds that have been upgraded and remodeled. You know, Mare Island is a huge place. It's an old Navy shipyard. Very, very active in World War II. And because it's like mostly shut down and run down and closed up and 
you know, half demolished in some areas. And then other areas are very modern and, uh, you know, like these uh, old coal sheds are now restaurants and gymnasiums and things like that. It's just a very odd place. But uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bike ride. Well, there's Lee riding his bike and we're noticing this gorgeous mural over here. We'll get a little closer. Wow. Very, very cool. And just wanted to point out some of the newer buildings like this fire station right in front of you, the gray building, in contrast to this old building which is three different colors and is like halfway demolished, windows are broken, oh, it just looks like a wreck. There's my bike. And these old buildings, I mean, this place is just a study in contrasts. So the ferry goes from here to San Francisco. There's a ferry boat. Some of that old stuff whatever it is, <laughs> from the shipbuilding days. What an interesting place. Well, we are enjoying this bike ride. It's a little windy, sorry for the wind noise. I'll try to keep it down to a minimum. Hmm. This must have been where they brought the boats out after they worked on them or something like that. There are so many unidentifiable structures, I, just because I don't know what I'm looking at, but so many cool old buildings and old structures and pieces of equipment, old ships. It's, it's overwhelming. I mean, there's no way you can see it all. Lee says he thinks this is a dry dock where they would bring the ships in dock them and drain the water. <laughs> I don't know where he went, so I better catch up with him. <laughs> Just noticing that they're actually working on that S40, whatever that is, doing something. Okay, we've turned up the street up the road and made a turn and now we see the beautiful chapel over here actually this is a lovely area this whole area is beautiful it has lovely homes where the officers used to live there's beautiful landscaping actually they do have people living on Mare Island in new homes out here so <laughs> what a crazy place this is but let's go look at that chapel Okay, we had to get off our bikes to see these up close, but you can see where they have sealed up the doors to these shelters. Oh my goodness, such, such history. You know, riding a bike out here to explore is definitely the way to go. You'd see more on the bike than you would if you were just walking, and you can get into these nooks and crannies that you couldn't find 
if you were in a car the whole time. So we love coming out here on this bike ride. Heading down this little path, we've come upon the park, which is quite pretty. There's all sorts of, I guess, memorabilia that has to do with ships and wartime and all sorts of things here. Lee's checking it out on his bike. A wonderful old brick building across the way. And there's a museum over here. Okay, we're getting hungry. We're getting ready to go. And of course we smell some delicious food coming out of that building. So there's a restaurant there. But I think we're gonna go home. So one quick look around before I end this video, which is just really the tip of the iceberg out here at Mare Island, Vallejo, California, former naval shipyard, currently all sorts of businesses, residences, storage, history, memorabilia, museums, art studios. Oh my gosh, anyway. There we go. If you headed out of here and went west, you'd end up in San Francisco. Thanks for coming along with me on this bike ride. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.